I think a lot of people are confused about how YouTube could actually work for their business. And maybe you're one of those businesses that you think, oh my gosh, I already do Facebook and Instagram and maybe LinkedIn as well or TikTok. How am I going to add YouTube? Well, in this video, I want to share with you why I choose YouTube over all those platforms first. And it might actually surprise you as to why I think you should use YouTube for business and how it could be much easier than a lot of the other work you're doing on other social media platforms. Hey there, if we haven't met, my name is Tracy Rose and I help people utilize video and especially YouTube to build their business. And this is my very fluffy assistant, Daisy, my ragdoll cat. So if you are looking to build your business utilizing videos and especially YouTube, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of resources that will really help you. I'm not talking about becoming like a YouTuber. That's completely different. YouTube for business, very effective. <laughs> I just rolled the chair over my book. It is by far the easiest way that I have gotten clients for years and actually in several different businesses. It works every time. I got my first million views on YouTube. I got my first clients through YouTube. Like I wasn't even as experienced then. I didn't have that many subscribers. I got asked to be a speaker at events, but look, we'll get into that. <laughs> Let me give you eight reasons why you should use YouTube for business. So I know you get your phone. It's really easy to, you know, post stuff on Facebook or post pictures on Instagram and pop in your hashtags and put things in groups on Facebook and stuff like that. But there's a huge difference between those types of social media platforms and something like YouTube. YouTube is actually a search engine. So here's the big difference. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram. You're basically hoping and praying <laughs> that people stop scrolling on their phone. You are trying to interrupt them. So you are kind of trying to capture people's attention. So they're not necessarily looking for what you have. Whereas on YouTube, especially when you do YouTube for business, people are looking for a solution. They're looking for how to videos. They're looking for answers to their problems. What I'm trying to say is people go onto YouTube purposefully like they go looking for what you have so I could go onto all these other social media platforms and try and get people interested in my business and my product and my coaching services or I can go and put my content in front of people who are already looking for what I have you want to get your stuff in front of people who are actively searching for what you do Daisy come say hi did you know that YouTube actually has a YouTube algorithm and and it is way more predictable than the Facebook algorithm or the Instagram algorithm. Like, don't even get me started on those. YouTube is very, very predictable. There's a complete recipe. And in fact, it hasn't changed that much. Yeah, there's been some changes over the years. I can pretty much guarantee what type of video will get traffic, will get views by following the recipe that I know which is tried and true. And if you know it, you get a return on investment on your time and your efforts in doing the YouTube videos. And I think that's what people don't know how to do, but I'm gonna share with you how to do that later on. I've got some downloads in the description below this video, but just know there's a specific algorithm to follow, it's a very easy step-by-step -step recipe on how to get your videos seen by your ideal client. It's actually not that hard. One of the other best things that I found about building a YouTube channel is people actually binge watch your content. So once you start answering a question or two about something that someone is searching for, so I used to have this baby business where I taught birthing classes and mums would always ask questions about birthing classes. So I, as a birthing teacher, would go in and answer these questions with just a video. And then of course, because I've done all these other videos on stuff that they want to know about, they then go binge watch my content and then I would often get people reaching out to me to go, hey, I want to do your classes, when's the next term happening? So because they are binge watching your stuff, it creates the fourth reason you should <laughs> utilize YouTube for business is because it creates trust. And I know that you can build trust on Instagram and Facebook. I found 
that YouTube is by far the easiest way to build trust. Usually you're doing a little bit more longer form content. So three minute videos, five minute videos, 10 minute videos, 15 minute videos, like whatever you wanna do. But it is such an easy way for people to get to know, like, and trust you. And I found that YouTube was by far the easiest way to do that. By the time the client came to me, they were usually pre-sold on wanting to join my classes or even hire me for YouTube stuff now because I had become an authority and very trustworthy in their mind. Okay, so you got editing Tracy for a moment. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you one of the biggest reasons why I love doing YouTube for business. You know when you're doing an Instagram video or a Facebook video or a TikTok or whatever, right? So that video probably has about a lifespan of maybe 24 hours, 48 hours max if you're lucky, right? Well, YouTube is completely different. The longer your videos are on YouTube, usually, if you've done the right thing and followed my advice, your videos will just continue to get views the longer it's online because people are searching for the stuff. I know that sometimes it feels like doing YouTube videos would take up so much more time, take a bit more learning time for you to figure out some of the technology. That's a bit of a myth anyway. But the long-term leverage that your videos get just blows other social media platforms out of the water. I have actual videos that have been online more than five years that continue to bring leads into my business to this day. That's insane. This is where you have this light bulb moment where you realize, holy crap, why haven't I been on YouTube this whole time? It's not too late. Come on, let's find the other reasons and then I can help you get started as well. Which comes to my next point, which is about creating authority. If you create a channel that is specifically based on a certain niche, now you don't even have to be like the top expert in your field, but if you are sharing some tips that is going to help someone who is even just a couple of steps behind you, you. So I know when I started teaching YouTube stuff and video marketing, I had only just learned them myself. So you don't have to be the top expert. You can also share your journey and say, hey, I've just learned how to do this today. I'm going to share with you because this really helped me in this blah, 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 blah. But it easily helps you create this authority because you've got this channel based around a certain niche. Okay, what are we up to? Uh, number six. But before we get going, I actually have a video which I'll link to here, which is about planning a whole year's worth of content for your videos. Okay, number six is it's a really easy way to get traffic to your website. So I could tell you right now, I have a download on my website, which is 103 video ideas so that you never run out of things to talk about in your videos ever again. You can go grab that download. It's on my website. Now I've got three more reasons why you should really do YouTube for business. Okay, I know you might be worried about this because a lot of people are. Some people think like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do fancy videos. I don't have the right equipment and stuff like that. In fact, let me share with you. <laughs> One of my videos has over 600,000 views and I have heaps of videos that got over 100,000 views each video. And <laughs> They were done on my webcam and a lot of them were done on my phone. So, you know, it's really more about the content. The content is the king. Like content is king and so is consistency. I would preferably say one video a week a minimum would be really good to commit to. I want to give you some examples of some channels that I love following. I love following Stephanie Lynn from Stephanie Lynn Coaching. She's a life coach and relationship coach. Very, very simple videos. She's really personal. She doesn't need fancy videos. She basically every time sits in this one spot. Just has like some flowers usually on a table beside her. But I don't really care about how fancy her video is because I'm listening for the content. Another entrepreneur that I follow is Sunny Lena Doozy. And she was growing her business so much that she decided to get a studio. She got a film crew to start filming her stuff. And actually she found that that turned her audience off. Obviously they were trying to emulate what she was teaching and it was just too much. This is a really big one. This is about budget. Did you know you don't need to pay to play on YouTube? Yep, 
there are YouTube ads and you can learn how to do YouTube ads and that can actually really help with your business. But if you know how to do YouTube properly, you know what to do, how to use the YouTube algorithm, which I'm happy to show you, you don't even need ads. Whereas say on a Facebook business page, I know for a fact you need to pay to play to get your stuff seen by your fans. Whereas on YouTube, it's totally different. In fact, YouTube pays you. Now I wouldn't rely on YouTube ad revenue for your business. That's kind of icing on the cake and it might not even be something that interests you. I'll show you with you that another time. Again, don't focus on that. You're going to make more money from your YouTube videos for business by getting people to your website, by signing people up to your list or by just attracting people who will reach out to you for your services. So I, especially as like a coach, I know that I can sign people up to different coaching packages. So if you are a coach or a therapist or an accountant or a baker or whatever, my daughter sells slime as a result of doing YouTube videos. And the very last thing, if you are worried about maybe your niche being saturated or anything like that, there's always gaps in the market. I know this because I've, I've tried to help people build channels in lots of different niches and I have found gaps everywhere. And that is about doing keyword research, which I can talk about in another video. I will put a video down below on some keyword research stuff. But again, there is other things that I want to help you with today to get started and utilizing your YouTube channel. If you need any help, please reach out to me. I do actually set people's channels up for them as well, because a lot of people don't want to do that technical stuff and you only need to do that once. So sometimes it's not really worth you learning how to do it. Just pay someone to do it. Reach out to me if that's something that that you need. But otherwise, that is it. Tell me in the comments below how you're feeling now about doing YouTube for business. Now that I've explained some of those things, does it make you more excited? Does it make you kind of have a bit of a clearer vision as to why you should do YouTube for your business? Or are you even more confused? Let me know so that I know that I'm doing videos that actually help you, that I'm on the right track or that you're on the right track. Enjoy building your YouTube channel. It is actually super fun because you know, you're talking about what you love doing, what you're passionate about, what your business is about. That's fun. What do you think, Daisy? Yep. <laughs> She's really enthusiastic. I'll see you in the next video.